Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Humankind. This is still our first YouTube Let's Play of uh, of, of this game, really, and uh, it's very exciting. Uh, got some streaming games going on as well, um, and in addition to that, some good ideas for naming it and thumbnailing these series in the future, because uh, that was going to lead to a little bit of confusion on my part, if not on yours as well, but we're going to have some good stuff going forward. Anyway, as a pacifist... It is now time for the game I'm always the most excited for. Declaring peace, negotiating peace, because, you know, peace is so very good. Uh, we've been beating up on these green folks over here. This is uh, Zerator. It's not Zerator, that's Burke Black. So that bug still exists, where the uh, avatar portraits change between the different people in the game. I don't know. Up against the green people over here who are currently the English in the medieval era. Uh, we can negotiate some surrender terms. So, we have 175 war score here to negotiate. Now, here's one of the things. I've actually uh, seen discussions on Reddit about the sort of peace system in this game. And some people are unhappy that they can't just total war for all the things in one go. And as gamers, of course, sure, I get that. But in terms of, like, or in terms of... For gamers, I mean, we want to win as hard as possible, right? So I kind of get that. But on the flip side, there are two things that I think make this a really good idea. Um, one is that historically, total wars were not fought. You know, you fought a war for some amount of territory, and, and that was sort of it, because supply lines could only go so far, and war exhaustion, and manpower, and, and all kinds of different things like this. Um, and historically, giant, really organized army, the sort of thing that you could truly wage a complete war for, wasn't really something in existence. Yeah, sometimes kingdom got conquered, but not generally like big kingdoms, right? Few, a few provinces, basically, at a time. But also from a game balance point of view, it prevents excessive amounts of snowballing if people can only eat little chunks at a time. Because snowballing is always the case in any strategy game, as it should be. If you're doing well, then you should do better and therefore better, and therefore better, and better, and better, and better. Snowballing is 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 realistic, but having a few limitations for that is is a thing. On the other hand, oh, it hurts my heart that I can't just go and take everything. So we're definitely going to want to make sure to take Nemesis and Harappa, I would say, over here. These two cities, um, we did just try to take the other one as well to see. So if I take those two, that is my whole war score. Now, this doesn't include taking additional territories. Our city limit, that would put us one over a city limit, city limit though that is fine. Um, if I had time, I would go and, um, burn Sakleteni down to the ground first, so I could go and retake it. But even though we won't be able to declare war again right away, I don't think there's anything that's going to stop me from just rans ransacking these, uh, these areas. So I think that's going to be the case. We'll get a little bit of money and that's it, because I can't get anything else with my, uh, with my 15 remaining war score. And they were too big to vassalize. So we'll go ahead and force that surrender. I can tell you that our gratitude is boundless. I'm going to immediately I have something here that should please us both. Excellent. I'm going to immediately demand they convert to my religion. Hmm. Fascinating. And they yielded. Okay. I was going to be fine with either result. Uh, use from the borders. I don't know. Okay. That's fine. Um, what do we got? We got some units that are, I some cities that are idle over here. So let's take a glance, because actually, because I've been streaming, I'm like, wait, what, what is the status of things in this game? So, I mean, we've just entered the early mo modern era. We've got lots of stars left to do. We've already got a military star, which is nice. Um, all right, that's cool. I think our science rate is pretty good. All these techs are clearly going to go very fast. So I think we're going to get a lot of science stars, which is nice to see. And science is our primary goal over here. Yeah, when you load a save, it tells you the fame rewards for these are all zero points. And it refreshes after one turn has gone by. Uh, just a little visual bug over there. Our unique unit is locked by naval artillery. Not that I particularly care about the ship over here. Um, plus, we don't currently have the resources for it anyway. This does give you the plus one army slots, which is always nice. But we might be eager in grabbing things, for example, that give us extra city cap. Now, that would be um, a tech from, well, I was going to say the next era. This is the early modern era, which is what we're in. So we're not worried about running out of technologies over here, which is good, because that can be an annoying issue if you bump into that. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't just beeline to the three masted ships to get the plus one city cap, because we are currently at seven of six. Although, again, your first city over the cap is only minus 10 influence, which is pretty irrelevant. We're not worried about that in any way whatsoever. So our technology is locked. Uh, our new city over here, it starts at zero stability, but it's actually queuing up to 100, which is really good to see. 
Um, it doesn't have any adjacent outposts. Oh, that's true, it is disconnected. Um, we could f we could disconnect this territory and give it to that, but I mean, this is fine for now. We'll see what else we can do. Oh, hold on, I was going to focus on Harappa. Please, game. Let me finish one thing at a time here. Um, right, it's currently mutinous, so I can't build any districts, although it's not actually mutinous, and it's going to bounce back pretty quickly. But what I can do is I can build infrastructure while this is going on. Let's go ahead and set you to public control, which is what we're going to want later on. Um... I mean, your stability is going to be fine, but I could preemptively start building the aqueduct uh, for the future to stability. The train over here, we've got lots of forests. Again, because I'm sort of, you know, lazy and blind simultaneously, I do would really like it if stoneworks and other things like that might tell you what they would give you as a benefit right away. Or even like if you moused over here and it would like highlight tiles that it would boost. So these two tiles would get buffed at least. And we do have a maker's quarter, so it would be worth at least a couple of production. I don't know how much else. We do have some more stony fields over here. I think it's probably worth slapping it down. Um, or the water mill. More industry on the river. Um, some of which is still being exploited. Kind of six of one, half a dozen, I think, in this situation. I guess these are all river tiles over here. So you know what? The water mill, I think, was going to give us quite a bit more production. And then by the time that's done, the stability will have bounced back because it goes up by five per turn over here to its target. So by the time it's done, we'll be at 30, which means we'll no longer be mutinous. And that's going to be okay. I don't know if there's anything that shifts the speed at which those things um, pop back. We've held on to Nemesis for a couple more turns than Harappa. I'm getting confused about our position. Yeah. Um, no, Nemesis is what we just took. Maybe it was trending down to zero while it was um, occupied. Yeah, that's definitely the case. Wow, you ain't got no food. Um, and that's despite working maximum farms. You must have had a lot of farming going on in some attached terrain over here. Dang. And I can't hit any of these Utones. So, I mean, I guess there's just going to be some starvation pretty quick over here, unfortunately. Um, I could slap down some more... Okay, first of all, so that's a good science quarter over there. Oh, these are going to be great farms. I think there's no reason not to just keep going with farms here, actually. So let's go ahead and do that. I think we're going to want it. There's a decent amount of population in the city. We're going to do that. Um, this is going to give us a little more food. It'll give us another slot for food as well. I and mean, the other thing I could do is quickly spam out some units, but I do have the money. I think I will buy this right away. 15 farmer's quarters? Perhaps you're inviting several thousand friends to dinner. I do still I want to make sure I get these things down, but we've got time. I wonder if there's going to be some sort of sweet spots for building these later on. I don't know. I'll go ahead and build the farmer's quarters over there. Because it's hard to go wrong with just more food all the time. Speaking of more food, Memphis ain't got any to spare. Do you have a good harbor? Because, I mean, we might want the option of building ships. And those are pretty productive harbors. Um, these farmer's quarters. I mean, that's not bad either. Just because we want positive food. I mean, who care about the harbor? To me, I feel like... No? Because the thing is, one of the things that's a little annoying with the harbors, because you do get districts later on that, like, um, like I'm thinking the Dutch district, the uh, VOC or something like that, they get tons of extra bonus gold if they're next to a harbor. But the harbor doesn't extend as a build spot over here, so you'd have to build the hamlet nearby to expand things. Um, well, we're not about to age up, so I don't have to rush the swan, however it's pronounced. So let's go ahead and get that so we can get positive food going on in the city to continue growth. Here, too, could potentially use a bit more of a food kick. There you go. And we can work towards Builder Stars at the same time. Come bearing steam. Oh! Inventor Engineer, ostracized her own country on account of her religion, has come to you offering her scientific expertise, which is a settled in the city of Memphis, where she believes she could work productivity, productively. Her pioneering work in the fundamentals of engines could be vital, but the fact that she's not a follower of Petra practitioners could make things difficult. What do you say to her? So, this is giving me, um, Hypatia vibes. I don't know if, uh, the steam engine type of stuff is anything that Hypatia worked on, but Hypatia was a very, very cool scientific lady in... I think it was in Egypt is where she was. I can't remember. I feel like it was Egypt, but she was not a Christian at the time that, like, Christian stuff was really being pushed. I, I might be getting the facts highly confused, um, but she was, a, like, a brilliant scientist person who got, like, stoned to death or something like that. Uh, go and look at the, uh, the story of Hypatia. Very, 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 very cool person. Um... So we could just reject her, which sounds pretty stupid. 
We can use a research, we can't open the welcomer, need to bribe Memphis. So it'll cost us money, but give us a uh, science. So this is just 20 science in Memphis. So this is a 200 science play, which is a fraction of what we make per per turn. Um, or we could naturalize her, be disruptive, but let's show the world that the innovator of any creed can come. So it's going to force us to go to open-minded for the religious civics. So we lose some of our influence, but gain more faith. Um, no, sorry, we're currently on religious hostility. We'd flip over to open-minded, um, which would also slide the slider towards homeland. No, it wouldn't. That doesn't make any sense. It must be going towards world over here. I guess the dark is what it's going to become. I guess it is currently this one, and it's going to move over here. Um, hmm. And then give us give us what else? So this is going to be five cities are going to do that learning. So that's going to be 100 science per turn. I don't know if I want to switch the civic. On the other hand, I probably do want to push our social axis towards progress. Yeah, screw it. Let's go ahead and do it. Don't really need the religious CBs. And, you know, we obviously do want to burn through a bunch of texts, so sure. Agrarian star earned. What is this? You intrigue me. Let's talk. Hello, Astex. What badge do you have? You have the merchant hmm. bag. You Fascinating. want a cultural agreement. Oh, you, we have an actual alliance with you. So I think both empires will get 5% more influence. I mean, sure. You are as just as you are wise. Let's make it so. Would you be interested in a scientific agreement? This proposition should be in all our best interests. I like it. Um, relations, trade. We've got... So I just spent a bunch of money. Gladly. Yeah, we'll have to come back to you, Aztecs, and do some trading. The other thing we could do is a bunch of upgrading. But, okay, what I want to do... Let's bring you over there. And bring you over here. We're going to look at continuously maybe hammering these territories over here. I don't... Can this count as trespassing? Whether or not the world goes hungry... It's not a city. ...with 30 farmers' quarters... You have unlocked... <laughs> sea Cutting himself off. Ah, to safely travel the dangerous, hungry oceans. You can cause trouble any way you want now, and have a better chance of getting well, away with it. Seeking is a world deed. Cool. That's one of the things I'm going to have to, like, kind of internalize, is what the world deeds are. You know, similar to how in Civ, you got to sort of think about all the things that can give you error score. The world deeds do give you more f X and bonus fame if you can get there first. New grievance. Come, take a load off. Let's speak. Yeah, I'm going to demand that you give me Kang. You do understand, it is merely a question of land. So, they said no, they didn't, Insulting. <laughs> they didn't give me Kang, uh, but we do have an active demand now, which is going to give us uh, war support per turn, so we can maybe rebuild that quickly. Oh, we've got some civic backlash going on here. I could refuse and take a 50 stability hit, um, or I could switch over here. I think this is fine. Currently, I don't think we run anything on this policy. We literally haven't chosen any, and I don't think it's going to cost me points. Hold on. Let's say... You will not spend influence. Yeah, so who cares? And generally speaking in these games, I haven't cared too much about that. I can run Collective Mind to convert more things to science. This, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that really appeals to me. I don't think we're going to do a lot of that. Okay, you've got positive food. Not tremendously so, but you're going to grow in three turns, which seems to be okay. Um... Oh, we still have more artisan quarters to hook up, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, we may as well get all these, plus it might open up some more trade possibilities. Okay, you're good, you're good. And then we can look at plopping down some stuff here. You don't have any funky adjacencies, do you? Just research quarters. Or silver. Yeah, just spam a bunch of research quarters, so I don't think placement really matters too terribly much. Let's go ahead with this. And, yeah, I may as well queue another one. I don't know. Up here, we can put down maybe some more research quarters there later on. Oh, you've got more? Okay, let me come back to that. We'll figure something out. That was a lot of production queued up for one city. Oh, that's the one we took from Barbarians. Speaking of Barbarians, this is a city over here. Am I doing anything with these guys? Am I been bribing them or anything? I should be bribing them or something. Hell, we got the 50% uh, assimilation now. Yeah, should totally do that. Hello, turn. I'm betting there's a battle going on somewhere right now. Takes a little extra work to proc. 
Um, or... Oh, there we go. Now it's responding. All right. Maybe it was a slow autosave or something. Yeah, it's going to be expensive, but let's kind of wonder. And then you over here. Well, these people are in decline. Oh, no, but you I have assimilated here. an independent people. Okay. Now Every this is getting quite a bit more expensive. Now it's 120 penalty a building from being over a civilization. Ah. They immediately forgave me for stealing their independent people. Good. Um, oh, we inherited their armies as well. Which is interesting. Stability is okay right now. We could consider disband... You actually have very low population in this city. Um, what I might do is disband all the warriors rather than upgrading them. Since I can't... Well, interesting. Implies that it can upgrade because the button's lit, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to disband those three. Boost the city. We'll put you on a uh, public control. And so you got positive food right now. I mean, we're going to want to build these Siwans, or however that's pronounced, before we age up, which I think is going to go pretty quick. Obviously, putting it somewhere where you can be adjacent to a bunch of research quarters would be bad. There is already one there, um, but. We might not be able to build any more across the way. We could build another one there, and maybe things will change later on. That is currently the best tile. Uh, I don't think there's... Yeah, there's no territories you can do connections with right now. Alright, we'll just slap it down. 16 per turn isn't super bad, and hopefully we can boost it a bit more later on. Uh, you are here to burn this down and be very rude. Now, I'm good bros with green. Your presence. No, green yes. green are the people that we don't get along with. Never mind. I get confused about the colors. Good. So that means you can actually come here and plan on burning that down. And then we can reclaim it. And you are absolutely 100% doing this one. Excellent. Oh, God, I'm so rude. <laughs> uh, we do have more connections we can do. We actually, well, we have enough to spawn a city, but... That would definitely be too expensive. The other thing I do is actually I could switch some of the territories that are being owned by certain things. Um, so you can't connect anything. There's nothing there. I know it's the merge button, but you can still click it and toggle between the, the city merging and the outposts, which we could consider do some merging, but our, our limits improve now. Now we only get the minus 10 penalty, so it's fine. So mostly we're going to be looking to attach. And the priority is probably going to be attaching territory to these new cities on the borders, although it's not going to be very expensive. Um, so those are both the same price, because they have the same amount of length. And I'm, so that's what I'm sort of looking at. Maybe I'll attach this one. There you go. So you know we can only go to that one city. It's going to be fine. You've got positive food. And... Sure, I don't see any reason not to build it there. And I probably missed some really good adjacency things early on, especially. Um, in our live stream, uh, picked up on a lot of, of things to pay attention to with some of these various districts in terms of adjacency so we can make some crazy good stuff. Hamlet is interesting because it lets you... You can plop down this district anywhere in your territory and it does give you a new place to build out from so this can give you a little bit more flexibility when it comes to um um when it comes to growing your your city plus it gives you just a ton of generic slots but maybe i'll grab guilds and then we'll go on a purchasing trade good pass you're done here so what we're gonna do is reclaim this wow i'm sorry is that 33 Value? I guess they're both 33. I don't know if I have a preference into which one we grab. Also, what the hell is this? Hmm. No, no! no. I'm trying to right-click to deselect me. The Temple of Artemis is here. So it was built by them and is now in territory that's not claimed by anyone. That's interesting. Um, so they're both 33. I'll air for more food, I suppose. That's gonna be okay. I 
hair? Which one do I want to attach it to? I mean, it's not going to be Mondara, that's for sure. I mean, Nemesis is going to get end of gear and then pretty much be done. Harappa can't get any... You know what? Okay, we'll attach it to Harappa first. It's going to be dirt cheap. Mohandaro, you've got positive... Not tremendously positive food. I might get a little bit more before I put down a science quarter. Okay, there's that. I just want to make sure... Yeah, it's not really implying anything crazy over here, so... Yeah, let me get that for a little bit more extra food. Thebes is losing food right now. Oh, I think I'll go ahead and build the two. The heresy of science! What? Are we mere animals? Word spreads that natural philosophers are conceiving theories regarding the providence of life itself. To imagine that men and beasts might have shared common ancestors would be an affront to many and cause a revolution in the way that people view themselves. These theories could undermine the realm's official faith, and by extension, your authority. What's your position on this matter? Um, we can welcome it, gain the learning bonus, move towards uh, progression, uh, or we can disavow, gain fanatical. No, we'll welcome it at this point. I think it's going to be okay. Let's not pretend that the truth isn't the truth. Guild's research. Okay, that's the trade route thing. Yeah, no, I'm gonna refuse all these demands. I mean, if There's you wanna go to war no with me, buddy. To make this work. I do not accept. Yeah, you're forgiving those. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You better. Um, so Orange, my so good buddy. To see you. I don't think I need any strategic resources. Let's see if we can just get this um the subsidian going on. Yeah. I mean, we've got the, the good treaties with her for good prices. I mean, I guess we should still grab these because we've got buildings that give us like production for every horse we've got. We might have the copper one, I'm not sure. Screw it, I'm just gonna buy them all. Done, done, done. And then you over here are gonna rebuild this. That is a lot of food. Oh! I think they changed things, because this used to be in the way before? I don't know. Um, god damn, that's a 41 productive tile. This one's pretty good too! How is it so good? Because the thing I'm confused because none of our buildings or anything. I don't. Th Do we have any technologies that are just giving us a base bonus to production of everything everywhere? I didn't think so. Wow. Hmm. Anyway, um, so you won't give me Kang. We're just gonna keep going and like burning down all of his stuff. Because why not, right? Silly English. Stability is growing. It's not enough to build a quarter right now, but it is certainly growing. I thought 30 was going to be enough. I guess it's got to be over 30. That kind of makes sense. Um, here, we'll just slap down an animal barn. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll still get the stoneworks. I mean, your industry is not bad. But yeah, we'll go ahead and get the stoneworks. It's one turn, and there's a little bit of rocky terrain we're working. Um... I don't know if there's anything here we're specifically rushing on. Although the high, the high furnace is going to be some really nice adjacency bonuses. I mean, we could just get this for the army defense. It, again, it unlocks your unique unit, but we can't even build it. Yeah, make it a steel furnace. I think we've got some maker's quarters. I don't think we've gone ham for it. Not the same way as, like, farms and things. Yeah, okay, so that's been territoried. And we would like to link that to Nemesis, which is going to be its first additional territory, so that's going to be very nice for it. Now, I assume that these are cities over here, because these are solid... Or no, it's not. Well, I mean, we may as well keep just, you know, being a jerk. <laughs> it works so well! We do have the ability to plant forest now, which does lower pollution... Um, I think it's just a one-time pollution uh, reduction, uh, but then it does benefit from our lumber yards after to give us more production. All these things, I always wanted to put it on the border. So I, I realize it's plus 16. Hmm. Okay, your food is actually insane here. Wow. Okay. 
Is this a place where we're going to lose production? I don't know. But anyway, your, your population is going to grow quickly. Um, you actually need some more job slots. We're definitely building some more districts here. Oh, we've got ruins somewhere. Now, the one thing I don't like about the clear ruins is it doesn't actually highlight the ruins anywhere. Yeah, this is right here. It's the plundered outpost. And it actually blocks the output of that tile. But it doesn't actually highlight it. And I assume that's something that... You know, I certainly hope that's something they're, they're intending to fix at some point. I don't think I really see a difference between these spots. Put it here. Well, this might be better for Maker's Quarters. Maybe I'll build it here and we can build a research center over there or something. I mean, maybe I could build a research thing first or da-da-da-da-da-da-da. That's going to have to be okay. Um, and I think... Yeah, it's saying this because it'll lose less food, but I'm going to do this because we can put more quarters adjacent to it for benefits later on. I mean, I guess we could have just done other things. Because it does it does occupy a river spot, a forest spot, a cliffy side. I don't know. I, mean, I don't want to spend like 10 minutes on placing each one of these. Lose the production. Oh, yeah, that's all science building. That's why it's so good over here. We're getting like a triangle of science buildings. Okay. I think that's the spot I just cleared. Yeah, alright. Sure, fine. Um, let's go ahead and... Well, centralized power. I feel like this actually might be... That might be a fame goal. Centralized power? Sort of rings a bell in my head. Okay, Builder star. Ransack successful. Bet there's no stars for ransacking. So 24. Yeah, let's build that there. That's fine. We gotta get Machu Picchu down too, because then we'll be able to claim another one. I'm gonna go here, because we could build more research quarters around it, if we decide we want more. What to do with religious minorities? So we can tax them and make money to follow a foreign religion, or we can not tax them and gain stability. The thing is, I don't think I want to spend the points on that, because I suspect we're not going to actually have that many. Um, well, I'm just assuming that on the basis that we're, you know, continuing to spread. So you can only connect to Mohandaro. Are we happy with that? Can I disconnect this? I mean, that's probably fine. It's quite expensive, though. So what I should be doing is I could spend my influence to insta-build certain things, which seems like it's the sort of thing I might want to do more. Just forgetting it was a thing. I can even use the plant forest. Hmm. Okay, attach that. We could absorb a city. That might not be the worst thing ever. Actually. Yeah, you know what? What I could do... So, Scythian Neopolis over here. What I could do is I could absorb it into Wasakani. Because this is sort of on the front line. We could absorb it into here. Just lower our number of cities. I think that might be something that happens at some time. Okay, centralized power. Ransack done over here. That's 19. Well, that's a very good output. Kang still stands. Still have to go and burn that down after, since they refused to give it to me. Our empires are close. I'm pleased to greet you. Oh, you've got Papyrus. Absolutely get that connected. No crises. Good. So tell me, how are you today? I'm going to... Your heresy switch. threatens the world order. It will not be tolerated. I have a lot of war support. See, this is the closest challenger. The Mongols, who are still just at the start of the medieval era. Although it doesn't mean they don't have a million dudes. Okay, so we've already connected this one. I can't go after the city right away. 
So I could keep beating on the English. Um, well, I mean, I'm going to keep going after the outpost. My chat is as unpleasant for you as it is for me. I think they're going to be quite eager to... Uh, they, they would want to declare war, except we're much more powerful than they are. So, and we could declare a surprise war. It'd be nice to just do the regular war declaration, but we need more war support. It is building, but I guess in the meantime, we can just go and keep picking on them. Um... Yeah, I was going to say, we need to declare war because it's inside their city borders, so that doesn't actually work. It's sort of glitch that it's still showing us the combat preview here. Shouldn't be doing that. Okay. Looking at my territories here. Yeah, we should do some more connections. So, uh, unless I want to save for merging. So you can only go to Mohandaro. You can go to Mohandaro or Memphis. You can only go to Memphis. Wait, is this an unclaimed territory? I think that is. Alright, let's just attach. I assume the stability here is fine. I mean, it's not unlimited, but let's get that going. Memphis is our capital. We'll embiggen it as much as we can. It's just big chivalry because it's cheap. How are Aerostars going? So we haven't even gotten the first science one, although we're sciencing so fast that I think we're going to be okay. We did have a lot of catching up because we're a little bit behind on those. Um, I don't think we're going to grab a bunch more of the military. I mean, maybe if we go to another war. I suspect we're going to get a bunch more builder ones, and then our population should continue to grow as well. So I think we'll get that. As feudal structures prove practical, probably what I'm going to focus on and warfare, certain codes and practices arise that ideally ensure a fair and honorable society. Um, you were the one that was heading this way, were you not? I wonder if you can even get through here. I suspect the answer is no. We don't know because of the fog. Ah, oh, this forest is blocking the way, so we can't actually see. But yeah, I was going to say. You still think you can get around that way, but uh, maybe you can sneak through. I don't know. Could be. Dun, dun, dun. Um, so, I mean, that seems fine. We'll grab that, sure. We did grab some more territory here. Yeah, you know what? Alright, go there. It's fine. I guess I spam out some Maker's Quarters to expand out of here first. 15, 15. Let me build here. This is not going to matter, is it? Oh, your food's going down. Hang on. Yeah, let's farm it up. So we're not, I mean, the arrow's not going to last super long, but we, I think we're going to stay in it a little bit longer just to get a few more, a few more points in. Okay, food's okay. Stability's going up like crazy. Um, it might be nice. This is a pretty high pop. Well, it's not that high yet, but it's definitely getting there. Um, yeah, I mean, when in doubt, build districts because they actually do give you the builder stars and they do give you pretty good output. I mean, these can boost the output of your districts, but generally speaking, I feel like Building the districts gives you more in the first place. Let's go with that. Yeah, you have food. I don't like they keep kind of build it on the borders, but that is the best spot because of those. But if I build it here, it's going to have some adjacency. I could build a research quarter there down later on. But I mean, no matter what, like, they, they, you get adjacencies from each other. Plus three per adjacent science quarters, and then... He's only get plus one per Jason. So really, we'd want to build this here and then build research quarters all the way around it. I think. I'm going to go for that and see. Uh, apparently, there are ruins somewhere over here. Again, I don't like that it doesn't highlight them. Because I can never see them. Uh, I guess one way to do it, if I turn on the yields... Am I building on ruins over here? 
Because if you turn on the yields, anywhere that doesn't have a yield is, I think, on or adjacent to a ruin. Um, it's not the blinking bit over here. Um, but it might be that there were some here that are going to go away. You can, you can just build anything on ruins, so eventually it'll get cleared just by virtue of the fact that you're plopping down stuff. But yeah, I can't spot them. I'm such a, such a horrible thing for me. Okay, we can go through this river. That's quite neat. It's 29, 26. We can get a uh, 28 just building over here. It's going to be a little awkward to build um, districts out from here, though. So actually, I think I might like this one. Because it'll be, give us a little bit more flexibility with our district building. So we're going to go with that. Um, so you over here. I can spend influence to hook up the saltpeter mine. And get access to that finally. Which is lovely. Just claim here. I think this one's unclaimed and actually adjacent to a city at that. Which is really nice. Alright, you built. Yes. And I think we just recently attached this. So we'll do that. Sure. Oh, right. This problem keeps happening. So there is a common quarter on this. Which, the common quarter actually gives us stability, so it is quite expensive on stability, but it is our best science spot, but, I mean, it's not... Hmm. Yeah, see, over here, for example, I mean, we'll lose the six food, but we'll get almost as much science. These are good, really good food tiles. I mean, I suppose I could just not worry about it. Uh, harbor, is this just going to be a harbor on a lake? Yeah, so I'm not terribly interested. I guess this city's going to have lots of food options, kind of, sort of, regardless. I'm just going to build it here, and we can build some research quarters around there. Done. At some point, I just have to stop caring and keep playing the game. There's probably another sweeter spot, but... Alright, we are two stars away from the era if we want. Man, we actually are quite behind on tech. I mean, we're developing tech very quickly right now, but based on where we could... Sorry, we're behind on tech for our era. I have no idea where we are compared to other players. I don't know if there's any way to check that. Um... How are we with purple? Oh no, they hate us. They might actually just... Well, I'm sure we have more troops. I'm, I'm totally okay with going to war with them. Which should come to a shock to no one. Which one of these is the least? So that would be Wasakani. Yeah, sure. Let's just go. Expansion of Star. All right. Wow, we are really going to era soon. I don't think we're going to be rushing out of this era. We don't need to unlock new techs. We don't really, I think, need to unlock a new military unit right away. Unless we find ourselves in a war that all of a sudden feels kind of difficult. Um, I think these guys here. So I suspect Purple and uh, us, we're going to come to blows here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start moving some troops over towards the purple border. Yeah, we build there. If I build here, this might become a decent spot for one. In that territory. 
Uh, patronage is quite good. It unlocks the ability to get the super bonus from these resources, Papyrus. We need, okay, we need six deposits. Devilishly clever, these Greeks. I would be more afraid of their wit and their words than of their troops. Yeah, who became Greeks? Okay, population. Population loss. Ransack. Oh, we did get an osmosis event over here. Your empire has now reached the Greeks. Oh, the Greeks know about me. Oh, and I've met them. I see. Um, so we'd revoke communal land. So we could get like a ton of stability. No, that's fine. Whatever. From my people and from myself. Heartfelt. Hey, you hey, folks. Marbs. Heartfelt greetings. Let us see if we can build a better world together. We first traded with them. Well, yeah, but it hasn't, it hasn't come up yet. Now, is this blinking because we think... I don't know what this means. Welcome. Let us speak honestly with each other. I wonder if it's recommended or if the, the game thinks it's most likely to get accepted. A lot of times the first thing the AI will do is do the trades and... I mean, he's pissed that I'm not trading with him, so... This proposition should be in all our best interests. All right. You don't have any resources. Maybe the, no resources I know about. Maybe we need vision. Maybe we'll have to do the trade maps for it. That could be. We'll, uh, we'll pick it up in five turns and see what, what comes up at that point. All right. Oh, we got barbarians over here. Now this district, this area does have to be claimed. That is worth slightly more, but then puts me in a more annoying position to go hunt down the barbarians. So I'm just going to click it there, and it's going to be fine. All right. We've got positive food. Stability is very good. At some point, we got to put down Machu Picchu. Maybe we do it now. Um, where do we have maybe worse stability? Okay, actually, Memphis is down to 40 over here. We did add more territory to it. I think we'll just assume we're going to build Machu Picchu somewhere in Memphis. Uh, it has to be done on a mountain. Okay. Fine. Um, there's no adjacency bonuses, and here we haven't really expanded our maker's quarters and stuff. So I think I'll just put it there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get all our cities to just throw down in there. You know, maybe they were doing more important things, but psh. Merchant from afar. We could allow them to trade. Shifts us towards world. Um, Homeland, I think, gives us the more military strength, though. We'll just dismiss. I don't know. They could bring the plague. I don't know what kind of unintended circumstances can be there, and I want to stay on the Homeland side. So, you can be upgraded to heavy cavalry. We've got tons of money. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. I have a proposition for you. I think you'll like it. I will accept non-aggression pact with you. What can I do to make this go faster? Oh, it cost me... That's not much. Ooh, you refuse to share maps. Well, that's kind of rude. I'm just going to go ahead and renounce that. We we're much more powerful. You know what? I'm going to demand... And now we have encountered the Maya. Those javelins are as unpleasant as their cities are... Yeah, there we go. So, I guess now we I don't still maybe they don't have luxury resources, but now strategic resources are visible. I can't trade for those. But they're visible. That must have been it. Do you really not have luxuries? I mean, I think if people were buying them, they'd still be here. Just the buy button would be disabled. Huh. A thousand welcomes. I am the leader of a great Mama Oko. Okay. Yeah, so that's still a glitch. I hope you are one who keeps their word. Oh my god, we're 43 minutes into this episode. God, humankind is addictive. Folks, we're going to put a cut in here. We'll be right back next time. Thanks a lot for watching. See you then. Bye-bye.